Hi there, this is Tony DeThomasis and welcome to my Solution Manager Acceleration series of videos for how to get the most out of Solution Manager 7.1. So now I want to show you technical monitoring. So hang on to your hats folks, uh, this is going to be uh, very fast. So the first thing we want to do is the technical monitoring. So right here we come into system monitoring. So we're going to have a look at some uh, some technical issues with uh, one of our problems, uh, one of our systems. So the ECC6 system uh, is got a problem. So I'm going to start this thing. You get two choices to start it embedded or as a floating uh, IE window. I'll start it embedded. So right here you've got some availability issues, some performance issues. Configuration looks all right. You've got an exception and you've got 11 alerts. So let's launch the alerts. So uh, what happens here, these are all the alerts happening in my ECC uh, system. So I've got uh, the severity. So at the moment we've got uh, an outage with uh, something on, on the ABAP stack. You've got your backups which are not working and you've got high CPU. Right, so the, the first thing we want to do is to highlight one of these guys and to do a deep dive into what is going on. So down here you can uh, create a notification to make it go through to the service, service desk. So first I'll do some root cause analysis. So I want to go into the uh, monitoring and try and find out what's going on. So in behind this screen it'll create uh, an IE uh, a screen. So now you get the, the new flash, the embedded flash uh, capability so you can show the availability or you can uh, navigate down to the performance have a look at the configuration or pull a couple of exceptions. So here the exceptions are the uh, backup is not quite working. Under the performance we're getting uh, we're getting a bad status from a technical instance so it's probably one of the agents or the database has been configured properly. So up here uh, we've got a problem with the HTTP availability and the RFC. Uh, the RFC is good uh, so the HTTP availability. So if I want to if I want to drill down into that you can have a look at some documentation behind that. All right, so that's that's a standard doco from uh, courtesy of uh, the solution manager guys. Or you can launch the metric. So this this will launch another um, another little metric screen. And in my case, it'll be a bunch of red things because uh, the agent or the the app, the service hasn't been available. All right, but you, you can imagine you get a line graph in here if uh, there's there's variation. All right, so this is the first step. So to give you root cause analysis capability. The, sec the second step, uh, once you've got this guy here, you, you may want it to create an analysis report to actually give you a hint as to what to do. So in the background, this guy will create uh, an end-to-end -end, um, analysis report. So it gives you, again, you have to, with uh, Solution Manager 7.1, you look for the hyperlinks and it'll take you pretty much to where you need to go. Right? So it gives you the max and the min for here. But one of the interesting things is that it actually unlocks some capability here from the same screen to get right down to the uh, to the records analysis. So if I click on the MMC, believe it or not, this will fire up the SAP Management Console in HTML to help the administrator actually start the service which may have been stopped or, or interrupted. So normally you'd have to put in a URL or you'd have to you'd have to fire up some sort of administration console to do this. So you know right right here I can never get down to the open alerts and help help myself. All right, so if I close all the screens behind. All right, so in summary, we've done a root cause analysis in, you know, two and a half or three minutes. So the trick is to come to the technical monitoring uh, work center, follow the system monitoring uh, uh, menu, click on the alerts based on how they're rated, come in and create the uh, analysis report. And if you still can't sort it out, create a notification which sends it through to the service desk. Or if you know what's going on, you can confirm it or assign it to somebody else. Um, you get the message. So thanks for listening. This has been uh, a pretty heavy one. So you may have to play it in full screen a couple of times. So this has been Tony DeThomasis teaching you Solution Manager 7.1 uh, in less than three minutes. Thanks for listening.